For the past few videos, I've been sharing hacks and tips for the best travel experiences. I have discussed everything from budgeting, packing, food trips, and places. I have highlighted the best and the most popular destinations to see. However, just recently, I realized that if you only visit the most popular destinations, you'll have the same generic experience as all the other travelers. You will miss out on the most authentic experience. To make this realization come true, I will talk about 10 in popular places to visit in Paris, France this year. This is a bold move because almost the entirety of Paris is world-renowned. But fortunately, I found Paris's hidden gems, and I'm more than happy to share them with you. Are you ready? Let's get into it. For our first stop, the I Love You Wall. For sure, you know that Paris is the city of love, but take the I Love You Wall differently, because it literally features love. More impressive is that it speaks love in 311 languages, printed on 612 lava tiles. If you are wondering what I'm talking about, visit Montmartre to see this masterpiece created by the artists Frederick Barron and Claire Quito. The two literally went door to door to gather those phrases of love. You will surely have a great and calm time reading all those I love yous, as very few tourists visit the spot. Next at number 9 is Paris Abandoned Railway. On the one side, I understand that only very few people are interested in visiting sites that tell stories of the past, such as the Paris Abandoned Railway or the Petit Siantou. But I assure you that this unpopular place is worth a visit, especially if you want to take a break from the bustling city. The Petit Siantou has been closed since the implementation of the metro in the 19th century. Since then, the site has become a place for nature to once again sprout and for the people to enjoy it. When you visit the abandoned railways, expect to see plenty of flowers on the overgrown tracks. There are also many artistic graffiti in the area that are all worthy of your appreciation. Next in line at number 8 is the Art Nouveau buildings. For art enthusiasts, you will surely find peace and quiet in Art Nouveau buildings, as you can have more time and space to appreciate the intricate designs of the establishment. Just by spending a few hours in the area, you can learn many things about the Art Nouveau movement from 1890 until 1910. If you are also interested in architecture and design, you can also study the place to get to know the Haussmannian style of architecture in Paris. For more whimsical designs, you can wander in the nearby areas, such as the Lavirot building on 29 Avenue Rap. Coming in at number 7 is the Arts and Crafts Museum. The art experience continues beyond the Art Nouveau buildings. You can have more of it when visiting the underrated Arts and Crafts Museum, also called Musée d'Arts et Mitli. The most exciting part of the museum is that it features the fusion of arts and science and world industry although this might be the reason why it has become an off-the-beaten place. However, it is such a great experience to see exciting instruments such as the Jacquard Loom, Chronometer, and the first steam-powered automobile. Next at number 6 is Montmartre Sinking House. You probably have fallen into the optical illusion of the sinking house in Montmartre. To prove to you that it's not sinking, I recommend seeing it for yourself. This is also a walking distance from the famous Saker Core, so you might as well see the sinking house for a more productive tour. While there, you can also take the chance to set up a camera, sit on the green grass, pose, and make yourself part of the optical illusion. But before we continue, make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button. You can also turn on the notification bell to keep you updated on my next uploads. If you've been to any places that will be mentioned in a while, feel free to share your experience below. Now. Let's continue with number 5, La Santa Pompidou. Branded as the silliest and most bizarre gallery in Paris, you can expect a unique experience in Santa Pompidou. You can already see the oddity of the place just by looking at it from the outside. Santa Pompidou's exterior follows an inside-out design with all the large pipes styling the facade. With this uncanny exterior, imagine what more oddity its interior can offer. When you go inside, you will see creative modern art. The inside of the building mirrors its exterior design philosophy. It emphasizes the building's structural elements and utilities, giving it an industrial vibe. Walkways, staircases, and escalators all continue the exposed structure theme seen on the exterior. Indeed, the Santa Pompidou is not just a building. 
It embodies a particular era's architecture, art, and cultural ideas. Its unique design, which seemed radical then, turned it into an iconic structure that continues attracting millions of visitors yearly. Next at number 4 is Foucault's Pendulum at Paris Pantheon. For more science and technology exposure, Foucault's Pendulum, which can be found in Paris Pantheon, is also a must-visit place in Paris. According to Leon Foucault's experimentation, the pendulum was used to demonstrate the Earth's rotation. However, the pendulum exhibited in the Paris Pantheon is just a working copy of the original pendulum, but it's still worth the visit because it has been swinging there for almost three decades since 1995. If you want to see it, you can visit the Paris Pantheon every day from 10 in the morning to 6 in the evening. The museum admission is not free, but only costs 11 to 23 euros. Coming in at number 3 on the list is Gustav Eiffel's secret apartment. I wonder why this place is an underrated location. Gustav Eiffel's secret apartment is situated near the top of the tower. Going back to the 1880s, this secret apartment on the Eiffel Tower's third level is pretty cozy. This is such a haven with all the warm wallpapers, wooden cabinets, comfortable sofas, and even a grand piano occupying the spaces that you will wonder how the furniture was brought in. Fortunately, you can also feel that warm and cozy vibe when you visit the secret apartment. You can go to the Eiffel Tower every day from 9 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. and prepare 10 to 26 euros as admission fee for adults and 2 to 13 euros for children. Next at number 2 on the list is Kremio Street. As the name implies, Kremio Street is also known as the Hidden Street in Paris. You might ask, is that the reason why this place is unpopular? I guess we'll never know, but I recommend taking advantage of its unpopularity so you can walk and appreciate its underrated beauty without the hassle of rubbing shoulders with the crowd. This hidden street in Paris can also make you feel like you are in London because of its similarity to Notting Hill. It is also an ideal place to visit when you want to rest from the busy streets of Paris. Let the colorful houses and flower beds sweep your stress away. Again, before we go to the top of this list, be sure to like this video. If you want to know more about traveling, I have more videos about it that you can check on the channel. While you're at it, please do subscribe. Don't be shy to click the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our future uploads. And now, number one on the list is the Catacombs of Paris. No matter how many times you've been to Paris, make sure you don't miss Paris's historical and age-old catacombs. It is located several feet underground on the bust streets and lanes of the city. You will surely enjoy this place, especially if you are into mysterious and eerie things. This used to be the former quarry of Paris and now houses the remains of over 6 million people who died in the 18th century. You can check the place from Tuesday to Sunday with an admission fee of 29 euros per person. And there you go. Those are the 10 and popular places to visit in Paris, France this 2023. I do not discourage you from skipping the famous destinations, but I encourage you to include these spots in your itinerary for added fun and experience. Again, please make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button. What's the most unpopular place in Paris for you? Let us know in the comment section below. Until next time.